In other news, the G5 governors of the main opposition People's Democratic Party, as they have come to be identified, on Wednesday visited Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State in continuation of a charm offensive, which many analysts say may likely worsen the crisis currently tearing the party apart. Led by Governor Ingisom Wike of River State, the G5 governors say they are still open to reconciliation with party leaders on the other side, despite the situation at the moment. But how feasible and reliable is this verbal commitment, given how far apart the contending parties are in terms of what they want ahead of next year's elections? Well, Gabriel Suswam is a former governor of Benue State and a PDP stalwart, and he joins us now to discuss the search for peace in the party amidst the festering crisis. Good day, sir, and a warm welcome to Newsday. Now, so many intriguing developments in the past 24 to 48 hours, one of those develop developments being that uh, we've heard reports that uh, former President Goodluck Jonathan will be mediating uh, between the G5 and, uh, if I may call it, the Atiku faction or the Atiku arm of the PDP to try and pave a way forward. Now, uh, obviously, we've seen that the presidential campaign has made a decision to move forward, whilst G5 are still speaking of reconciliation. Now, what's your prognosis on what is likely to develop next? No, I can hear. Okay, good day, uh, Governor Gabriel, uh, former Governor of Benue State, Gabriel Sussman, uh, will be on the line shortly for us to discuss the crisis within the PDP. Now we'll take a very quick breather. When we return, we'll take that interview. My apologies for that. I do believe our technical glitches have been resolved. Uh, good day, Senator Gabriel Suswam. Are you able to hear me now? And earlier, unfortunately, you were unable to hear me. But what I had said is that there have been several intriguing developments in the past 24 to 48 hours, uh, one of those being that we've heard reports that former President Goodluck Jonathan will be mediating between the G5 governors and uh, the rest of PDP, the, if I may call it the Atiku faction. Now, of course, we've seen that the presidential campaign has made a call to move forward. And, uh, uh, however, the G5 governors are still speaking of reconciliation. What is your prognosis of what is likely to be the way forward? What is likely to develop next, in your opinion? Yeah, thank you very much. I, I appreciate the fact that um, our concerns have been shown and expressed. Um, Please do go on, uh, uh, Senator. We can hear you loud and clear. Please do continue. It's OK. Um, I do believe that the five governors uh, are lovers of their party. Um, they have shown love for the party in the past and currently. They have shown commitment to the party. Um, you will recall that when Jonathan was president, the then governors that decided uh, to leave the party left the party without stalling. Uh, these five governors have said there are issues that they want uh, resolved. They have remained in the party. They, have, uh, they are attending uh, party programs. And uh, I believe that um, at some point before the election, uh, these issues will be resolved. Yesterday, uh, the leader of that group, uh, the governor of Rivers, did mention and uh, say this in Bauchi, that they are open, still open to reconciliation. And I think that um, uh, they are serious, uh, as, as a former governor of friends to most of them, have had uh, cause to engage them on a personal note. And uh, uh, we are still engaging in some internal mechanism within the party uh, to address uh, the uh, issues that are being raised by these uh, five governors. So I, I am an optimist 
uh, that uh, given the commitment themselves uh, by the governors uh, who mentioned that, like I said, by the leader of the group, that are open to reconciliation when they visited another PDP governor in Bauchi yesterday. Uh, we, as PDP members, believe that uh, we will be able to sort out this problem before the elections uh, in February. Well, thank you, Senator. Of course, um, it's, uh, this issue has been prolonged. The visits seem unending. Now the element of you know, President Gulag Jonathan probably stepping in based on that school of thought that suggests that he actually is the one that's giving um, the G5 this confidence. In the event that none of these gestures actually fall through and no one's satisfied, what's the end game? Well, uh, you know, I, I won't be in a position to answer the question, what is the end game? That question, uh, I believe, that will be answered by the governors themselves. But uh, like I said, I'm an optimist as far as this issue is concerned. If they had wanted to leave the party, they would have left the party. Uh, they, they have shown that they are committed PDP people. Uh, that is why they have remained in the party up to now. And so, um, I'm happy that President, the former President Jonathan is now being uh, dragged into it to attend to the issues uh, that affect the governors and then uh, the party. They're not even calling themselves a factional group, which to me means a lot. They say they are G5 governors of PDP. Uh, they're not saying they're a factional group. So it would be easy for President Jonathan if that indeed is true that he stepped in, uh, to sit down with them, with other contending um, players, uh, I believe that uh, our presidential candidate, uh, Vice President Atiku, uh, for them to sort out uh, the actual issue. You know, this issue has been exacerbated uh, more by the social media. Uh, once one of the uh, governors makes a comment, that comment is exaggerated. That comment uh, is misinterpreted. If Atiku makes a comment, the same thing uh, applied to his comment. And uh, people seem to uh, be listening a lot uh, to what the social media uh, is saying, uh, other than trying to uh, find ways of solving the problem. Uh, for me, solving the problem is um, the best thing that uh, we should be looking at, other than uh, uh, listening to what is been happening, what is happening in the social media. The governors themselves say they are open to reconciliation. They haven't said they are leaving the party. Uh, Governor Nelson Wike had a very extensive uh, launching of uh, his uh, uh, PDP campaign council uh, in, in River State. A uh, few days back, uh, my governor, uh, where all of us were present, also launched the, 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 the PDP campaign in Benue, where all of them came. That, those are PDP functions that they are attending. So to me, shows people who still have the love of their party at heart. And uh, they have not shown to me uh, in any way that uh, they intend to leave the party. So let us come together as a family and, and resolve uh, the issues which the, 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 these five governors feel that uh, uh, they're not happy about. And I think we'll do it. PDP has the capacity and the internal mechanism to do that. That is why we're talking about President Jonathan coming in now. Those are some of the internal mechanisms within the PDP for us to resolve our family problem. This is a family problem that can be solved within the family. All right. Now, I'm glad you made reference to Benue State uh, because, uh, of course, uh, you know, still referring to those comments that uh, uh, you referred to are being shared on social media. Governor uh, Autumn, of course, has been very vocal in the past few weeks. And uh, now we'd like to know what is the status of the Atiku campaign in Benue State and what are the chances of su success when your sitting governor uh, has been vocal about not supporting the Atiku president? presidential ticket. And in the same breath, uh, we also consider that uh, Governor Autumn and Senator Ayu are from the same s Senate zone. So is Iocha Ayu more valuable for campaigns than Governor Autumn in Benue State? Well, it is, it is not about who is more valuable. It is that 
we as major stakeholders in Benue uh, work together for the purpose of achieving victory uh, for, for Atiku. Uh, if um, my governor have issues that worries him, those issues, of course, will worry us as a people because uh, he's the political leader of the state now. And so if he has an issue, uh, we believe that we will come together and resolve those issues. Yes, uh, there are issues. We can't pretend that there are no issues. There are issues. But we are talking about them. We don't need to um, go to the marketplace to solve our problems. I believe that, yes, uh, issues have been raised. Uh, those issues will be solved. We as a people, we as Benue people, we have very prominent Benue sons who are in PDP. Of course, uh, uh, the former Senate President, Senator Mark, Ayu himself, myself, Governor Otom, and a host of others. Uh, we are talking among ourselves, in spite of the seemingly uh, friction that exists. Uh, we are talking among ourselves. And uh, uh, down the road, we are confident uh, that uh, these uh, frictions uh, will be resolved and uh, all of us will work together for the common good of the Benue people. So it's not who is more valuable. It is about us as a people. And that is what uh, is paramount uh, to an average Benue person, that the leadership, the leaders of, of Benue should work together. And uh, we will work together. Now, is there a possibility of the national chairman of the party, Iochia Ayu, you know, being removed and replaced by a southerner. Is that even a possibility at this point? You see, the, the, the issues um, that have been hyped about the removal of uh, your chair, you, yes, um, the governor of Rivers uh, was not happy. He has raised those issues. Uh, he said that should be discussed. Uh, the party uh, is in discussion. There are various levels of discussions that are going on uh, behind the scene. Uh, we, we cross the bridge when we reach there. Uh, for now, those discussions are important. You just mentioned that President Goodluck has been drafted to come in uh, to mediate in, in, in the friction. Uh, once we exhaust all the uh, discussions that are going on behind closed doors, uh, then we'll begin to talk about whether uh, somebody is living or not. For now, uh, for me, we should concentrate more on winning the election. Nigerians are waiting for PDP. Nigerians are waiting for PDP uh, to take over government and, you know, correct uh, what has been bastardized in this country. Our economy has collapsed completely. You see how the Naira is moving like a yo-yo. The insecurity in this country is palpable. Uh, those are the issues that agitate the minds of Nigerians. Uh, we shouldn't lessen this issue to personalities and individual issues. To me, um, as a senator representing my people, who comes under or rather inundated with uh, all kinds of agitations as it relates to security and the economy, those are things that we should be discussing at this point in time, just four months to the election. We shouldn't reduce it to individual uh, discussion. So for me, uh, the issue of whether the national chairman should go is neither here nor there. Uh, there are crises, yes, but those crises will be resolved and we will work together as a party uh, so that we can rescue Nigeria from uh, what nobody thought that would happen in this country, but it's happening now. We're on a rescue mission and our concentration should be geared towards rescuing Nigeria uh, from the bad governance that has become very manifest that even children born today uh, know that, yes, there is something wrong in this country. Now, uh, speaking of working together, it seems likely that the G5 is uh, possibly turning into a G6 with the, the inclusion of uh, the inclusion, excuse me, of the Bauchi state governor. Now, uh, he has complained about anti-party activities happening in his state, as well as undercutting and mischief uh, that is happening within the party in his state. Now, uh, on the backdrop of that, there have been reports of issues pertaining to campaign funding, issues of finances being 
being released for the elections and some governors expressing their grievances uh, about the presidency not yet, or rather the presidential ticket uh, campaign, not yet releasing funds. Now, uh, how much of this is about money, in your opinion? Well, I, I haven't taken time to uh, listen to the complaints of the Governor Obauchi, but Governor Obauchi himself is a very committed uh, party person. And um, as a governor of a state, if he notice some anomalies in the way things are being handled, of course it is within his prerogative uh, to raise it with the party. That doesn't mean that he intends to leave the party or take any action otherwise. I'm aware that before the G5 governors visited him, uh, the presidential candidate, the national chairman of the party, had visited him before. Um, of course, uh, this is finding ways of uh, how best uh, our party can work as a unit. Uh, I don't think that he has expressed uh, any intention of uh, him leaving the party. I don't think uh, that is what this is all about. The G5 are PDP governors. They visited the PDP governor. And uh, what the leader of the G5 uh, said to Nigeria was that they are finding ways of reconciliation. I don't think we should impute any other meaning into that meeting other than what uh, was told to us after that meeting. They were addressed. In fact, the governor of Rivers uh, address the press saying that they are looking for reconciliation and are still open to it. And I also listened to my governor, who also uh, cleared some misrepresentation based on the statement he made. And he said that he didn't intend what was imputed to it. And if people are not happy about it, he's sorry. I think it's a matured way of handling an issue like that. So whatever that went on in Bauchi, in closed doors, what we're told outside, except people who want to uh, give us what was said uh, behind closed doors. But what the governors themselves did say after the meeting were reconciliatory in, in, um, in, in disposition. Uh, there wasn't anything that indicated that they were there for any other purpose other than what they told us they went there for. So it is not for us. And that is why I complain about the social media. Social media are saying things that were not said there. Governor Wuke say that he's open for reconciliation. Governor Otom say that what he said was misinterpreted and that if people are not happy about it, he's sorry. So what other meaning can any person attach to what was expressly said and all of us listened to? Well, um, Senator, of course, you know, one of the provisions of the peace accord is that candidates should focus on the issues. But now so much um, investment has gone into resolving and appeasing this G5 that it somehow looks like that is the, the goal and not necessarily, you know, addressing what Nigerians really want to hear, you know, members of the electorate. Are you concerned that this might, in fact, cost you the election come 2023 if things continue this way? Yeah, there's a possibility. When you have five components parts of a, of a, of, of, of a country of 36 who are aggrieved, um, I want to say that the matter should be resolved. It has a tendency of, of um, causing some you know, damages that are not intended. So for me, whatever that it will take, uh, let us devote time in reconciling ourselves. We are a PDB family, we should. Um, let us not take for granted uh, anything as far as elections are concerned. More so that the election that we're going to have now will be people oriented. There are no incidence forms, uh, there will be no there is no likelihood of people carrying boxes and running away with them um, with the uh, beaver system of voting. So we need to engage people. Uh, we need to engage the leaders of these people. And these governors are leaders of their people. So we cannot ignore them uh, by any standard. Uh, let us, as a party, and 
when I say letters, I'm not exonerating myself, or I'm not putting myself out. I'm part of the leadership of the party, and we'll do everything that is humanly possible uh, to come together as 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 an association uh, to rescue this country. That, to me, is the most important thing. Um, we're Nigerians. We're living in times uh, that, um, <laughs> that, you know, you can't predict anything that will happen to anybody tomorrow. You can't travel on the road. Even to travel by air has become a big risk because of the security alert. It has never been this bad in this country, where the Naira, uh, every day you woke up, um, there's a new exchange rate. And so you can't plan anything. No person can invest anything in this economy. Nothing can be planned. The budget of 20 trillion. What you have in that budget is just about 3 trillion. Because the deficit of 12 trillion with um, uh, financing items that you can't place your hand on them uh, with a tax expenditure of over 6 trillion. The budget does not exist. So next year is going to be a terrible year for Nigerians. And so we need uh, PDP to come in and pick up from where they stopped. Uh, we can't continue like this. Otherwise, we are almost, if not, getting to a fair state. All the indices that determine whether a state is fair or, or, or not are present in our own situation. And so, just I was reading today that uh, our infl inflation rate uh, is about 52, which is true. Because every item, the prices have doubled. These are very serious uh, issues that we should be discussing and focus on so that Nigeria can know whether uh, PDP, APC, Labour, or NLPP is ready to take off power. But PDP is ready. Atiku has shown um, in the past uh, that he has the capacity to do a lot of things. And we believe that uh, if he becomes president, uh, most of these economic issues will be addressed. Well, Senator Gabriel Sussman, former governor of Benue State, thank you so much for your input on this issue. We will continue to follow the story as it develops.